Breakups are often the symptom of problems in a relationship. My workbook series, The Knowledge, is focused on helping you change your life in four key areas. Retaining the information that I teach, personal growth, improving your relationships, and of course, reattracting your ex. Available now at AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. I'm Coach Margaret. And today we're going to be talking about how can I show that I'm changing? When you tell me to do no contact, yeah. how am I going to do that? I don't know. That's a good question. That is. No. We, listen. It is a good question. One of the things that plagues all of you guys is that when you're in no contact, you're working hard on yourself and you're making incredible insights and you're working on things and you're doing things to better yourself, your mental health, being a better partner, all the things that we teach and you're desperately wanting to show this person. You want them to see this new version of, of you in the worst way yes. and you're so impatient about it because you just feel like they're never going to reach out. Right? Mm -hmm. One of the things that I have seen, Margaret, personally, is I really believe that the universe often lets it happen when it's supposed to. I agree. Right? I agree. Um, when, when we try and force things, it often makes the situation so much worse. Right. And so I would say to you, even though you're wanting to hear from this person in the worst way to show these changes, well, let's be honest, if you've only been in no contact for three, three weeks or you know, a couple months, those changes may be there, but not like you think. They're only at a very beginning stage. And, you know, it's very easy to say, well, I changed, can't we get back, to get, get back together? And change doesn't come that quickly, unfortunately. Yeah. I wish it did. Life would be easier. Yeah. You're aware, you're more aware of the problems and the, the things that you, you know, did wrong in the relationship or hurt your partner in the relationship or uh, whatever it is that, it, you know, you did. Um, but... Real change and managing your emotions and learning to communicate better, understanding your attachment styles, working through your attachment traumas, that takes time. It really does. And, you know, Margaret knows because, you know, you have 35 years of experience. I have 35 years of experience and change happens steadily but slowly. Exactly. Uh, sometimes faster than you think, sometimes more slowly than you think. In so fact, I had a case this week that had moved faster than I thought it was. Those are wonderful moments. Um, but we can't change quickly. No. You have to be patient. Right. Okay? And one of the ways that you're going to show your ex that you have changed is by respecting their decision and showing that you're no longer trying to manipulate them trying to force yourself on them with your anxiety, mm -hmm. trying to control them mm -hmm. that you may have done, right? I mean, right. some of you guys may have been controlling or um, neglectful in a relationship, and so you're desperate to show them that you're not going to neglect, neglect them anymore, but you have to respect them. You have to respect where your ex is coming from and what they're going through. Absolutely. And even though you don't get the chance when you want it, if you can be patient and allow it to happen at the right time, you're going to see that your success rate is going to be so much higher. It's going to be higher. Yeah, it really is. Some things just cannot be rushed. Exactly. And so if you just wait for them and you work on yourself until that time, that would be the perfect moment to show them and you can change. And that's never wasted. Working on yourself and improving yourself is never wasted. No. Re regardless, if you get your ex back or you go on and meet somebody else and start dating other people, it's going to pay off for you. Yes. So we got an email today from uh, a gay couple in their early 30s, okay? Now, they were together for over five years, long time. And... Um, you know, the person that did the email is trying to figure out what can I do to show them that I've changed, right? Now, if you're with somebody for over five years, 
They yeah. know you inside and out. Well, does he say what his partner, how his partner wants him to change? Well, let's go ahead and get through the okay. email. We'll talk about that. Um, so, he was telling me about his partner's ex, or and their family, and he said that their fa his family is very nice. His mother's a teacher and open-minded, but the father is homophobic. Mm. That would make it difficult. So his father-in-law is homophobic. Yeah. Now they weren't married, right? I think they were, but I think they were but engaged. That would be the role. Yeah. So the reasons that he broke up with the guy who wrote the email is that he told me, "I don't feel love for you." That would hurt. That would be very hard to yeah. respond to. Yes. I went on a trip in May with friends. When I came back, he became cold and indifferent. So, while you were gone, I don't know if he had cheated, maybe happened? something happened. Something, yeah. You came back, maybe he was alone and started to think about things. Maybe he started going out and seeing there were other options. How long was the guy gone? He didn't say. He didn't say. He just said he went on a trip. With friends. Okay. Okay. He said, we tried to come back two times, he was interested, and I tried to keep things slow without being intimate. But he treated me like a friend the next day. In June, by text, I begged and pleaded and sent him an email that we could make friends in the future. He blocked me on Facebook and Instagram. That day, I started no contact, but after a week, I sent him two emails. So. You were overwhelming him, yeah. and your anxiety was causing you to continue to reach out and chase after him, and you... So you, he blocked you. Yeah. I was no longer friends with three people who were talking about me with him. Now they are best friends. He answered that I was a good person in his life, that he would never speak bad things about me. Well, good enough. He had some loyalty, at least. Yeah, that's nice. <clears throat> In July, I don't wanted to be co-sign in his car anymore. I'm not sure if English is his first language. Right. He didn't want to be the co-signer for his car anymore. Okay. That day, I, and I think he was upset and anxious, yeah. and so he couldn't handle it. And he's like, I don't want to be the co-signer on this car anymore. I don't want anything to do with him. I'm going to punish him. I'm going to get mad. I'm going to reach out. Right? I think he was trying to, he was, he was getting anxious and lashing out. He was getting angry and lashing out. Yeah. Yeah. That day, he saw me on my way home. He followed me to my house. We talked about the car for five minutes. Then he approached me. I was very scared, oh and I shut the door in his face. He told me I was ridiculous. Something well, he thought feels the guy was going to punch him. Something feels off there, right? Yeah in his reaction by getting scared yeah and then he, the guy was like you're being ridiculous so he probably was thinking like why are you acting like this right he acted he acted frightened like this guy was being menacing yeah somehow all right yeah it's very odd it's like he's terrified right go ahead it just seems something yeah. feels off to me uh he said that the two biggest problems in the relationship was jealousy and i have anger issues when i get mad when he moved to another place, he was very mad at me for that. We took that decision. Wait a minute, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, jealousy? Who's jealousy? He said he has jealousy. The one writing the email is yeah. jealousy. But then he said when we moved to another place, he was very mad at me for that. Okay, he mean... didn't want to move apparently, and this guy did. Okay. What's okay. Your question? In July, I found out that he had moved in with a new guy in a different place all my ex family knows this guy this guy is totally different he's no type of his guy i guess he means he's like yeah. not compatible i think he's feeling more secure in this relationship because this guy is american i'm scared he'll get married oh. do i have a chance how can i show him i'm changing oh that's sad yeah I think it's normal to feel like that he's going to, you know, marry this new guy. Right. And and they'll go off happily into the sunset while I'm here depressed forever. It's not likely to happen. No. I mean, you guys were together for over five years and 
he's not likely going to all of a sudden get serious with somebody else. And even if he does, it probably won't last long. It's probably the rebound that we talk about often, that the first, yeah, the first relationship after a breakup. Yeah. We don't get much sense, though, of what happened after five successful years together to change things other than the trip to New York. Yeah. I mean, it sounds like he was jealous. This guy who wrote the email yes. was very jealous and anxious, and anxious in the relationship. Yeah. And so maybe the guy just got tired of it. Um, and just said, I can't do this anymore. But he, yeah, and, and that he has anger issues, right? He said that the he. The guy had, or he? He the, had anger issues. The writer. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it sounded like. Yeah, I think Jealous and I have anger issues yeah. when I get mad. Well, obviously, Which means when he's anxious, he gets mad. Yeah. Right. He was obviously born in some other country. Mm -hmm. um, and he's scared that he's going to marry him because he's an American. Or that. Because he feels better with this guy because he's American. I think that's. I don't think that's the issue here no, at all. No, I don't either. I wouldn't be concerned about no, that. No, no. Um, you, you, you have to respect him and his wishes right now. Yeah. You, you just have to be patient in showing this guy that you have changed, which I don't think you really have yet. Now, that doesn't mean you haven't made some progress. I'm sure you have. And I'm sure you're aware of things more clearly, and you're working on things, which is great. But if you try and force yourself, and it, I'm worried that he's thinking he's got to force himself because he he's getting scared. Yeah. yeah. It's just going to show that you haven't changed. So the best thing he can do is honor the no contact request. Exactly. That's the only thing he can do, really, because you can't make the other guy do anything. No. That he doesn't want to do. Exactly. Um, and, it, and just as you say, Craig, he needs to get to the point where um, he can say to this guy, I prefer to be with you, but if you don't want to be with me, I'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. It's tough to be in a breakup and making progress and wanting to show that person the progress that you've made and having to wait for it. Right. It really is tough. And it, it hurts and it's sad and it's depressing and it's scary. But... How else are you supposed to show somebody that you're learning to deal with your emotions better and handling yourself better and being more respectful of them when you're just trying to do the very thing you were doing the entire relationship? Yeah, um, but it's very hard to hear. And being patient is never easy, particularly when you have the kind of anxiety that people have at a breakup. But it is true that is the best thing he can do. Yeah. To make it sound like he's in control of himself and and working on things. It's a tough situation, yeah. and it's tough to be in a breakup when it you want to show someone. It sounds like a fairly city, so I'm sure word will get around. Yeah. You got, got to be patient. Yes. Continue to work on yourself, and I I really believe that things will happen at the right time when they're ready to, and you I don't want to force that. Because if you do, you're going to be more likely to push that person away. Right. And I want to know what you bake because you're a pastry chef. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So when you want to get our help personally, just go to my website, AskCraig.net. Sign up for the coaching option that works best for you. I do email coaching. I do Skype coaching. And Margaret is also available for Skype coaching. Many of you have signed up, and I'm always delighted to talk with you. Just click on Margaret on the top of the website to do that. If you like the video, put a like on there. Remember to subscribe to the channel. That's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. I'm Coach Margaret. And we will talk with you soon. I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Every relationship is different, and every breakup is different. Work with me, and you'll get professional help on your situation. Just click on the link in the description below, or go to my website, AskCraig.net.